Hey guys, Kyle Bug on Bushcraft here. Uh, I've got a review for you guys today. Um, the president of Maxpedition, uh, Tim, uh, uh, PM'd me on YouTube and said, how would you like to review some gear? I said, alright. Uh, so he sent me the uh, Maxpedition uh, Sitka Gear Slinger, uh, and I've just come in from giving it, I've uh, been reviewing it for a few days, but I've pushed it a little bit today, um, and I've given it what I feel like is a fair review, uh, so I'm going to pull it out here and show it to you, uh, and tell you what I think about it. Alright, so this is the uh, Sitka Gear Slinger uh, by Maxpedition. Uh, this is the uh, baby brother to the Kodiak gear slinger, uh, which is basically the same thing except bigger. Uh, as you can see on the front, I've got my signature wool sweater. Uh, I've also got a small hatchet or small hatchet axe on the outside. Nalgene. It's an algae, uh perfectly. Uh, it's a little awkward for mine because I got duct tape on it. Um, on the outside here, it's got uh, basically uh, two uh, straps that can press it down, the stuff in here, or you can uh, shove something in here, it expands. And it's got a little uh, ring on it that you can keep some stuff on, or you can open it up and uh, put some stuff in here. If it's a little too small, on the bottom here, you can open this one, this tab here up even more, and it'll open up even further. So, on the front here, there's a little uh, shock cord with a uh, drawstring here, so you can put something in here, shock it down. Uh, it's got some Velcro here for uh, name, whatever, morale patches, whatever you want to put there. Uh, this inside one opens about three-fourths of the way. Uh, just a small part here is on. Uh, just got some pair of gloves in there. It's got uh, three strap pockets here for whatever you want. Uh, it's got one in the back here. Uh, the zip's closed. Uh, it's got one really cool feature here. What you can do is you can loosen this and take your zippers, put them in, drop closed, and it keeps them there. So if you're in an urban environment, you can. Uh, this will deter people because opening this when you have all of them there is, you know, if you're trying to walk behind someone and do it without them noticing, it's pretty much impossible. Uh, it's got a handle here for uh, the swing around carry, or if you want to carry it just like this, you can. Uh, like I said, it's got a Nalgene, or a water bottle holder here, I got some leaves in there. Uh, fits Nalgene very well. It also fits a uh, one liter SIG. Uh, it's a little small, but it's, it fits. Um, it's got PALS attachments here. Uh, it's got, this is, this is the only zipper that won't go into this, uh, theft deterrent part here. So they put this in just to stop them, because it's like, basically the same front, but it'll slow someone down if they're trying to break in your pack. It's got a small front, uh, pocket here, a little bit here, and, uh, about it's say six inches there. And then this one opens. And there's a uh, and bigger pocket in here. This can uh, fit a U.S. canteen kit um, pretty well. Well, it fits mine. Uh, it's got a uh, pocket here for a notebook or something. Um, this It's got a little key. Keychain here that you can put your keys on. And this thing pivots all the way around, which is pretty convenient. 
So if you get something shoved in there, can you know can go into a uh, awkward position if it has to. So zipping that closed. Those are all the uh, oh, one more out of pocket. This one here you can fit a hydration bladder in or concealed carry. I've got two uh, wild edibles notebooks in there. And the hydration bladder comes out the top here. And uh, it's got this real nice backing on it. Uh, it's really good from wicking moisture away from your back, keeping it nice and cool. Uh, the handle's made out of a uh, similar looking material, but it feels very different. It's really, really soft and cushioned. Um, on the outside, uh, I like this front strap very much. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, I've got my fire steel on it. Um, you could, you know, put your fire steel right here on this, uh, or your keys. Uh, got the um, security strap here with a built-in whistle, which is quite loud. Uh, so if you ever need that, uh, that's there just as a little, uh, little extra. I've got a uh, 511 tactical. Uh, uh, it's basically like a roly poly pouch, except for uh, from 511. And I've put that there, and it slides up and down this real nice. You can also attach it here, here, any of the places, but I find that's the best. So if you're going to attach a uh, roly poly or something, this is a very good spot to attach it because you can slide it uh, in and out of the way. So that's all the external pockets or outer pockets on it. The main main compartment, the uh, main compartment on this pack, uh, opens about this far, about three fourths of the way off. I have got a one one liter um, MSR Alpine stove. You can see it's pretty thick, fits in there. Pretty snug. I've got my canteen in here, uh, just so you can see. You can fit about two two canteens high in here. That's just for uh, space right here. Fits my Sven saw very nice. I'm happy with that. It fits it you know, perfectly. Um, it's got two. Um, and it's got two uh, sleeve compartments here, and on the other side here. It's the same thing except mesh with a little zipper on the front here, so if you want to put something in there, you can. This zips open for both. One here, one here. Uh, it's got one in the back with some uh, hook and loop Velcro attachments here. And uh, that's, that's basically the pack. Um, on me, this pack is, I am a little small for this pack because I'm still, I'm still growing. I'm not hugely tall. I'm 5'7", I believe. So I'm, I'm still, still growing. It's a smidge, it's, you know, barely, barely, I have to cinch it all the way down. But even for me, even for a small guy like me, it, it fits pretty good. I'll uh, tilt it up and show you how it fits on me.